Hey, scholars, it's good to be back with you. And today I'd like to talk about the Pythagorean theorem. Now, we all know what it is. It says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a, b, and c are the sides of a right triangle, like this one. There's a, there's b, and the hypotenuse is c. Well, we kind of know where it came from. It came from Pythagoras, or actually the followers of Pythagoras. But how do we know it's true? Well, it turns out there's a couple of different ways to show it. The fun one is um, we're going to start with these little shapes here. These are right triangles, and this little thing is a square. So the right triangles are A, B, and C, and the little square has sides A minus B. Now, it doesn't matter what A, B, and C are. They can be any values as long as they form a right triangle. So uh, where do we go from here? Let's try something. Let's take these five shapes, four of which are identical, and make a square out of them. So here we go. Ready? And there we go. Now, that's a square. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. That's a little better. Now, that truly is a square. Now, I cut these pieces out of thin air, aircraft-grade plywood using a CNC laser, but you can do it just as well with paper and scissors. Mm -hmm. A piece of graph paper works fine, too. And you'll find out, if you make a couple different sizes, it really doesn't matter what A, B, and C are. You can always get a square as long as A, B, and C really do form a right triangle. Well, this is great, but why does this show that the Pythagorean theorem is true? Well, the area of this square is c squared, because the sides, the outer sides of the square now are c. Well, what's the area of all the pieces? Let's, let's try some here. There, I'm going, to, I'm going to form two rectangles, and each rectangle has the area ab, so the area of the two of them is 2ab, and the area of the square is a minus b squared. Let's pull my little whiteboard out and see what happens. So let's see. C squared is the shape is the area of the big square that we made. Well the pieces, the area of those are 2AB plus A minus B squared. And we know they're the same because those pieces made that big square. Well, let's just expand the right-hand side here. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And that all equals c squared. Well, that and that cancel out. So what I get is c squared is a squared plus b squared. And that is the Pythagorean theorem. Not too bad, huh? I hope this helps, and we'll talk to you next time.